morning from Japan. My name is Carla and today we are going to eat Japanese convenience store food for 24 hours. We are going to start at the 7-Eleven for breakfast. So I bought this ice latte cup and you had to get it yourself as this machine. I've never done it before. like coffee and milk without any sugar so pretty good I also have this mini cup noodles and it looks so cute look how many I love the egg sandwiches in Japan they are so delicious and they look so perfect so you just have to follow the numbers here is the number one I don't know which flavor this is, but I just took it because it looks so cute. I think it's beef flavor. I also have this chicken and mayo sushi roll. And this is actually a little bit different than a onigiri because they use sushi rice instead of regular rice and it is in the shape of a roll instead of a triangle and this is actually quite difficult to open because you have to open it like this start with one This way the seaweed stays crispy because it does not touch the rice until you wrap it all. This is super crispy. Chicken and mayo.
it a strawberry yogurt drink and it has real pieces of strawberry in here. For lunch we are at the family mart and we are going to have a picnic at Yoyogi Park so we are going to get some food here to bring to the park. They have all the onigiris we stocked. So I think I'm going to get the onigiri. Ground beef and egg. They also have some noodles. This udon noodles also looks very good. I have a famichiki from the family mart and this fried chicken is the best chicken that you can find in a convenience store in Japan. Also have a sandwich that is specially made for the famichiki. So let's assemble. It's already sliced. And then you have some, some sauce inside. Look how juicy that chicken is. I also have onigiri with egg and ground beef. Mm. There's not a lot of ground beef, it is mostly egg and just a little bit of ground beef. I also have a new sweater from the Uniqlo. And it is personally designed by me because you can customize your sweaters and t-shirts at the Uniqlo in Japan. So I chose this panda and it has his back turned and just a mountain. I think it's the Fuji mountain, Mount Fuji. I like it. I also have this yogurt drink with double melon. It has honeydew and cantaloupe. It has real pieces of melon inside. Delicious. Next is this Spam seaweed rice sandwich. So it has Spam, rice and egg. You definitely notice that the seaweed isn't as crispy as the onigiri or the sushi roll because it touches the rice in the package. But still delicious. There's also tuna with mayonnaise inside. So egg spam and tuna mayo inside a rice sandwich. Next is this fruit sandwich. I'm actually looking for the strawberry sandwich but I think it's not the season of strawberries because I can't find it. And this one has tangerine, pineapple, kiwi and yellow peach. There keeps flying a helicopter right above me, so that's a bit annoying. The sandwich is so soft. Next is this souffle pudding and it has souffle on the top and then vanilla pudding on the bottom. The souffle is so soft and fluffy. Together with the vanilla pudding. And there's also some caramel on the bottom. 
Hi guys, it's dinner time right now and we are going to the 7-Eleven to get some dinner. And I'm really craving some ramen, so I'm going to try this one. I got my dinner and I'm so excited to try this ramen out because this is from Seven and I Premium Gold. I don't know what it means but it looks pretty fancy. It really looks like quality. So there are four seasoning packages. One is some dried greens. There's also this thing but I don't know what it is but I'm just going to put everything in some white paste and this is some brown paste I think it's miso and this is some oil now I'm going to put in some cooked water and I used the water cooker from the hotel room by the way we are in the hotel room I heard like some disturbing things about a water cooker in hotel rooms apparently some people wash their underwear in the water cooker in the hotel room but I smelled it and it smelled like nothing so that's good it was also completely dry so I think I'm good I'm also going to put an egg in while the ramen is cooking because then the egg can be warmed up I also have some kimchi. It's really craving kimchi. Smells good. I also have potato salad and this is something that I recently discovered but potato salad in Japan is so delicious guys. It's just so different than in Europe. Then I also have some gyoza and I warmed this up in the second oven and you actually have a little cup inside of this packaging to pour in the sauce so you have some spicy chili oil i'm going to start with the curry bread this is how it looks it isn't that warm this is how it looks like bread is so soft like a donut and I really like the curry inside. Let's try the potato salad. Mm. So good. Kimchi. Mm. Okay, this is how it looks. Let's try some ramen. This miso flavored ramen and the noodles the noodle texture is so good for instant ramen Ooh, that's gooey mm. it tastes like eggs from a restaurant actually Let's eat it with some kimchi. Mm. Okay, let's try the gyoza. Let's 
dip it in the sauce. The skin is not the best and it isn't as crispy, but still the flavors are delicious. Mm. I'm going to try a bite of the curry bread with kimchi. Honestly, everything with kimchi is good. Mm. For drinks, I have milkies. Let's have a bite of kimchi with ramen. I think that this is such a good combo. For dessert, I have jelly with brown sugar and syrup. This is how it looks. It's literally brown sugar jelly, I think. I like it. It is very light and kind of refreshing because the jelly is a little bit cold and jellyish. Look, the inside is a brown jelly. Okay guys, this is everything that I ate today, eating only convenience store food in Japan. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and comment down below. And I'll see you in my next video.